it can be the case that while declaring the array itself you know what are the initial values are going to be or what are the actual values are going to be in that case this initialization to minus one step can be altogether avoided and you while declaration itself you can declare the array as something like as i have i am declaring it now grades number of student number of subjects equal to curly braces i can directly start with the values say 1 2 or these are grades so in uh, scale of 10 if the grades are then i can write 9 5 4 7 and so on now say if first student has given only four subjects then i will end it here give a comma and then write the second student grades as again 7 Uh, whatever the grades are now second student has only three entries F fair enough i can give comma and i can continue so as now if say i have only two students then i can simply end my declaration like this now in this declaration i am also initializing in declaration phase itself and i can straight away do this okay now as of now i have commented out this statement also i have introduced one more statement int i comma z which will actually initialize the or it, which will actually declare the counter variables i and j now i have already mentioned that it is always a good practice to define hash define number of subjects and students so that the program is more readable now along with readability the program becomes becomes maintainable as well because tomorrow if one more subject is introduced and if i want to make our program compatible with one more subject in this programming style i have to simply go and make number of subjects from 5 to 6 and i am done my program is always is already compilable and it is always and it can already handle number of subjects as 6 and anything now if i would have used it like grades 10 comma 5 then i will have to go all the way in the program and every time wherever columns are present each column value each maximum column value i would have to change from 5 to 6 and there are high chances that i will make mistakes the there will be bugs in the program so it's always a good practice to define pre processor hash define statements and define them at one point and then use them at an at all the locations so that it will be maintainable now comes a very important thing in most of the programs you will have to pass this two dimensional array to some function to do some computation so for example in this example uh, in number of students and number of subjects i have to find out the maximum grade in this array or which student has scored maximum grade in which subject that value i have to find out so the easiest way will be write a small function which will iterate on this whole array it will find out the maximum value in that array and then it will return that value to the calling function so in this thing i have to pass this array to the function now how to pass array to the function that's very important thing actually there are two ways you can pass the array to the function either you can pass whole array itself to the function or you can pass pointer of the array to the function let's first see how to pass whole array itself to the function i know it's not a very good practice because if the array size is too large then you are passing this whole array to the function as a function argument so whole this array is going on a stack on a heap and passing larger data structures on heap is always bad rather than pass pointers and then do the computation but first let's see how to pass complete array to the function so let's take an example so if we want to find maximum grade so say find max grade is my function name and i will i have to pass whole array so grades grades is my array and say this function returns max grade 
so max grade equal to find max grade of grades so my function arguments are grades now what is grades grades is a int type of two dimensional array so actually grades is a pointer itself but that pointer is pointing to two, two dimensional array and i am not passing the pointer i am passing whole array okay now i will define my function i'm sorry say int max sorry my function was find max grade and i am calling it as a integer say a some other name and i will have to define what's the size now remember while passing the array it is always mandatory that you mention the number uh, the columns which is number of subjects now it is optional to you whether you want to mention number of rows or not so you can simply define the function as int find max grades int a of blank argument and uh, and uh, square brackets number of subjects this is perfectly valid style let's start with program itself i will define max at say the first element say a 0 0 so here i am assuming that first element it is itself is maximum element and then it's a standard max program so for again i equal to 0 i less than number of students i plus sorry and plus plus don't forget to mention to write the braces for j equal to 0 j less than number of subjects j plus plus braces if max or if my current value if my current value i of i j is greater than max then max is equal to a of a of i g okay my if statement is complete my first for loop is complete my second for loop is complete my uh probably i would like to return the max value and i will complete it here in this function i have also used two variables i and j so i will have to declare them as well now this is a complete function declaration now i have de declared the function afterwards so i will have to give the prototype of the function so that compiler will not crib about it find grades and it's a at least i have to mention int i can also write something like int a number of subject something like this and i'm sorry i have used square braces i should have i should use curly braces what's the problem oh one more square braces is extra here okay and that's i guess the complete program which will actually initialize the array and find the maximum value now of course i know you cannot simply initialize the array with minus 1 and simply call the find max value in between here probably you will be writing the code which will fill the array with actual values so i am not writing that code here i want to demonstrate how to call the function with two dimensional array while with passing whole array in the function arguments itself